everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous video, we have discussed about the price elasticity of demand. We have seen the definition, the formula and the factors affecting price elasticity of demand. In this video, we will be looking at the values taken by our price elasticity of demand and the various cases. So, let's get started. So, the first case is when our price elasticity of demand is zero. So, how do we interpret this? So, the interpretation would be that this occurs when to a percentage change in price, there is no change in the quantity demanded. This means that the price change is so, the quantity demanded has no effect on the quantity demanded. That means, quantity demanded does not change the quantity demanded. So, if the price is increased by 10%, but the quantity demanded has no change in the quantity demanded. So, in that case, elasticity will be equal to zero. That is, the quantity demanded is not going to change at all. And in this case, the type of elasticity will be Perfectly inelastic demand. So, we have studied in the inelastic demand that the price change is more and the quantity demanded is more effect. Hota hai. So, when the quantity demanded increases by a greater proportion, then it is elastic. But if the quantity demanded increases by a smaller proportion, then it is inelastic. Hota hai. And in this case, the quantity demanded is not going to be very different. And therefore, in this case, the demand is perfectly inelastic. Now, next case is when price elasticity of demand lies between 0 and 1. So, this case we how to interpret karenge? So, this occurs when to a percentage change in price, there is less than proportionate change in quantity demanded. Now, this sounds a bit complex. But we understand it through understand example. Like, if price hamara, so price hamara 10% increase hua, lekin, jo hamara quantity demanded hai, wo bas 5% se fall hua. In this case, the quantity demanded changes by a smaller proportion than does the price. So, in this case, mein, the demand will be inelastic because uh, quantity demanded may kuch to change aaya. So, this is why perfectly inelastic. Nahi hai. Although the change in the quantity demanded is by a smaller percentage than price. Now, First case में जब हम perfectly inelastic demand की बात करते हैं, तो इस case में type of good क्या हो गए? Essentials like life saving drugs. तो इसका मतलब है medicines हमारा best example है inelastic demand का. क्योंकि even if the price of medicines rises, the quantity demanded is not going to change at all. क्योंकि it is an essential and Shape of the demand curve, we will be discussing the shape of demand curve later on. Now, in our second case, when our demand is inelastic, is the best example kya ho sakta hai? Food. Fuel. Matlab, food and fuel kya hai? Ek necessity hai. Jo consumer must have for his survival. So, when the price of food is increased, we have price food is increased, the quantity demanded is not much different. The quantity demanded is not affected much. So, and this is it. Now, when the elasticity of demand is 1, how does interpretation happen? This occurs when to a percentage change in price, there is equal change in the quantity demanded. Matlab, let's say if the price increases by 10%, the quantity demanded also falls by 10%. So, in this case, mein, elasticity would be equal to 1 and the type of elasticity will be unitary elastic demand. And, this example would be normal goods. Right. Now, 
Coming on to our next case, we will be discussing shape of demand curve later on, each one by one. Now, when the elasticity of demand lies between 1 and infinity, what is going to be the interpretation for this? This occurs when to a percentage change in price, there is greater change in the quantity demanded. We have studied this in our previous video also. That is, the quantity demanded changes by a larger percentage than does the price. So, this means that if let's say agar price is growing 10% se badta hai, to yahan pe quantity demanded jo hai, let's say 20% se fall hota hai. So, in this case, mein, the demand is elastic. Now, the example of this would be luxury. Now, luxury good mein, agar hum price bada dete luxury good ka, to people they postpone their purchase. And isi ke wajay se, jo quantity demanded hai, wo zyada girta hai. Now, our last case is, elasticity is equal to infinity. So, this is our special case. Is ka interpretation kya hai? This occurs when there is infinite change in the quantity demanded without any change in the price. So, is case mein kya hota hai? Ki the quantity demanded is infinite change hota hai, even though price will change. Nahi ho hai. So, this is an example of perfect competition. So, perfect competition is what happens when we graphs uh, we will be studying the shape of demand curve one by one. But before that, just for this case, I will be explaining. What is the price? This is quantity. What happens in perfect competition? Mein kya hota hai? We have a demand curve which is horizontal to x-axis. Okay, it's a horizontal line parallel to x-axis. So, in this case, mein kya hota hai? Ki ye certain price pe, at this price, people are ready to buy all quantity. Matlab, jo quantity demanded hai, price to change nahi ho rahe, lekin quantity demanded change hota hi ja rahe. Matlab, there is infinite change in quantity demanded without any change in the price. So, in this case, if the price is a little bit, the quantity demanded will be reduced to zero. And this example is the perfect competition. This is an imaginary situation. Hota hai. So, what we can conclude is, a price elasticity of demand lies between zero and infinity. Right? So, a elasticity of demand lies between 0 and infinity, right? Now, we will be looking at the shape of demand curve one by one. So, sabse pehla case is perfectly inelastic demand. So, perfectly inelastic demand. Now, in case of perfectly inelastic demand, our ET, that is elasticity, is zero. So, our price elasticity of demand is zero. Now, in this case, what happens is, ki, when there is a change in price, there is going to be no change in the quantity demanded. And therefore, our graph will be seen. So, A graph would look something like this. This is price on the y-axis and here we have the quantity. So, when the price changes, there is no change in the quantity demanded. And therefore, we have a graph like this. So, our shape of demand curve is vertical. No change in quantity when the price changes. So, this is a vertical demand curve. 
Coming on to next, inelastic or less than unit elastic demand. In this case, what we have seen is a value of elasticity is between zero and one. Less than one, greater than zero. So, this case me kya hota hai? So, how would a graph look like? So, here on the y-axis we have price, and here we have quantity. So. In this case, the quantity demanded changes by a smaller percentage than price, and therefore a graph would be steeper in this case. मतलब जो price है, price के change होने से जो quantity demanded में change है that is by a smaller percent and they, in this case therefore our demand curve is steeper now coming on to next unit elastic demand in this case our elasticity is equal to 1 in this case our graph would look something like this So, here we have price and here we have quantity. Now, in case of unit elastic demand, what happens is the quantity demanded. So, there is a equal change in the quantity demanded. Matlab, jitne percentage se price Change hoga, utne hi same percentage se quantity demanded bhi change hoga. And therefore, our graph would be. So, our graph would be a straight downward sloping line. It would be a downward sloping line. So, the demand curve in this case would be a straight downward sloping line forming. 45 degrees with both the axes. Because the change in the price, the percentage change in price jitne se let's say ye price drop hua utne se hi, utne hi percentage change se quantity hamara increase hua. Now, coming on to next Elastic or more than unit elastic demand. In this case, our value of elasticity lies between 1, uh, less than infinity, greater than 1. In this case, our graph would look something like this. Now, here we have price and here we have quantity demanded. Now, in this case, what we know that in case of elastic demand, the quantity demanded changes by a larger percentage than price. So, in this case, mein jo hamara, uh, demand curve hoga, wo hoga flatter. Matlab, ye hamara price fall hua, lekin quantity demanded zada proportion se badha. And here, the demand curve is flatter. Coming on to next, perfectly elastic demand. 
perfectly elastic demand in this case the price elasticity of demand is infinity now in this case the graph would look something like this so again we have price on the y axis and quantity demanded on x therefore what happens is in case of perfectly elastic demand we have a horizontal straight line parallel to x axis so in this case so how do we interpret this that at this price that is without any change in price the quantity demanded changes by an infinite amount and when the price increases jaise hi thoda sa bhi zyada price in is case mein increase hota hai to consumer bilkul ye commodity purchase nahi karenge and ye hota hai perfect competition ye hota hai hamara perfect competition wala case so we have studied all the five cases we have also seen how their shape of demand curve looks so now ye jo examples liye it is just to make you understand right 